Hello, it's Talia here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is kind of going to be a continuation of my previous video about my wedding budget. And this one's going to go a little bit more in depth into the things that I saved on and things that I spent money on within this video. Obviously the prices and the cost of everything is in my last video, um, but I will try and share some of the costs again in this video so you can see. But if you haven't yet seen my wedding budget video, please go and watch that one first and then come back and watch this one. Let's get into today's video. Okay, so number one thing we saved or that helped us save is the fact that we had an elopement rather than a wedding. I think to achieve the kind of vibe and style that I was looking for and what I achieved with my elopement would have costed us around $20,000 or more to achieve as a wedding. Everything is just on a much larger scale. So like flowers, you would need triple, quadruple the amount, you know, all of the decor items would be heaps more expensive. So just the fact that we didn't have, you know, costs like bridesmaids, dresses, groomsmen's suits, you know, favors for our wedding guests, all of those kind of little things do add up. And because it was just Callum and I getting married, we didn't have the extra costs of all of those things just by having an elopement. Another thing we saved on is food. So not only did we not have to pay for our food, guests, food, all of that, which can go into the thousands depending on what kind of style food you're looking for. And obviously also depending on how many guests you would prefer to have at your wedding. I think when we originally thought about having a wedding, we were around the 60 to 80 guests amount some people have well over a hundred people attend their wedding I still think our wedding would have been quite intimate um, but also what comes with that is the expense of everyone's food which is quite a lot we ended up not paying for our food at all um, we did have the option I think it was around five to six hundred euros for a chef cooked meal a three course chef cooked meal just for me and my partner not really for us so we just asked for euros so we just wanted euros because that is more us it was super yummy it was free um, it was a really good experience and I'm not a super fancy eater so having fancy food and paying for that fancy food just really wasn't for us as well. Just to go with food, my partner and I don't really drink alcohol, don't really like the taste. So we just purchased some soft drink from the convenience store, which ended up being like four Australia dollars. It was super cheap and we just had soft drink for our drink. We just don't like alcohol not our thing. Another thing is music. So we did save on not having a live performance or live band there. What we did is we created a Spotify playlist, which then made it very easy for us to choose all of our favorite songs, very easy for us to navigate and use, very easy for our wedding planner to navigate and use when we were playing like the Walking Down the Aisle song, you know, cake cutting song, pretty much the songs that go with the specific part in our wedding. Our wedding planner also brought along a speaker so we didn't actually have to bring one from Australia and also in our apartment they had one as well so they there was always backup speakers if one didn't work which is always good and handy to have as well. I definitely think if you're having a big wedding I think people do more opt for the live bands and the live DJs and that's just because it creates a different and more vibrant atmosphere than just a Spotify playlist, especially when everyone's dancing. Usually people find it quite entertaining to have that hype there and I think that is very important but for just the both of us to be getting married together, it really wasn't necessary for us to have a live band at our elopement. 
it was an option it definitely was an option and definitely people do choose to do that but yeah it just wasn't us another thing that we saved on was transport so we got married at the place where everything happened so we got ready at our house like it was it was a very cute house i feel like when i was deciding on the location to get married i did put a lot of emphasis that we had money to spend on a really spectacular location i feel like this part can go into spend and save i feel like because we didn't have to pay for reception accommodation in after party place as well it all kind of grouped into one which was just our accommodation cost so i think that was saving money but also we did choose a really nice place so we did spruce up and spend a little bit more money on getting a really really good place that was large enough to do all of those things and we got a number of options and that was just the best one that we liked the most so that's why we chose it we didn't really have a budget there because i felt like i was saving money and because we were there getting ready then getting married we didn't have to organize transport which is sometimes what you have to do with a larger wedding going from your accommodation to your wedding venue now to the section where we spent the most money so number one is my dress. I kind of bought that as a present to myself. It was a very expensive $17,000 wedding dress. I might do a whole video on the process of that. If you would like to see that, please comment down below and I can actually do that for you. Pretty much in how they build the dress from start to finish, all the costs involved, all the traveling involved in also getting the dress because I live in a different state to where the dress is getting made. So I actually had to travel via plane to go to the locations to do all the fittings and measurements etc so it was quite an expensive ordeal that was obviously something that we splurged on or i splurged on another thing that we put a lot of money into and the reason we put a lot of money into into it is the photography and videography because we were not having a wedding where our friends and family could be there so being able to invest in a really good photographer and videographer was an absolute must for us so we could share the photo and videos when we got back you know i've also organized to have wedding albums done up i haven't yet received them yet but i'm hoping to receive them this coming week photos are just such a beautiful existence of memory making so even though we definitely did the videographer and photographer for our family and friends we also did it for us as well i'm so happy with the way that everything turned out so i already kind of mentioned the accommodation situation where it was kind of a save and a spend so i don't think i need to go back into that one but i did spend or i didn't really have a budget on the decor because i feel like if i was having a wedding the decor would have been insane because you have to pay for every knife every fork every plate every napkin every cup every glass every flower is everywhere you have to pay for lighting if you want that you have to pay for all the signs the placements the favors like when you've got 80 people going to your wedding that ends up being super expensive and I feel like we did save a lot of money in comparison to having a wedding but when it came to our elopement I felt like we spent a lot of money on the vibe the way that it looked so we actually put so much money into the decor and my budget was actually higher than what it ended up coming in at but our decor was for everything so from the arches that you see to all of the flowers the wedding cake like everything was sort of covered under decor um, so I felt like I spent quite a lot of money on that. I just wanted to end this video with anything that I regretted or would change about the wedding. And to be honest, there really wasn't anything that I would. I can think of one thing that I would have potentially scaled back on the wedding cake. So I don't know what it is about cakes, but I get really disappointed with like wedding cakes. Like 
formal event cakes. They look great from the outside, but they usually don't taste that great on the inside, which is such a shame. We did pick like chocolate and like buttercream, which is my favorite type of filling for a cake, but it just, it was so sugary. It didn't taste amazing and it was huge. So we probably could have done with one that was literally like this big. I know it probably would have looked weird in photos to have a cake that's like teeny tiny but we could have cut it in half and had a piece each but the cake that we had was actually quite large we didn't even really eat it because we had our euros so we were so full we had a little the tiniest bit of cake ever and then the rest of it just like went into the bin because we didn't eat it the next day or anything it was just a bit too much so yeah i probably would have scaled back on the cake but that's literally all i can think about that i would change everything else was divine it was perfect super happy if you have any specific questions about our wedding please let me know because i can do videos on that or on those topics for you and yeah looking forward to seeing you in my next video thanks so much guys bye